Hey friends, welcome back to my channel. It's Kim with Kim's Inspired Life and welcome to hashtag Let's Do Die Cutting Monday, an open collab hosted by our friends Kathy at Kathy's Creative Crafts and More and Tree Tree Craft On. And so we are invited every Monday to share whatever we're die cutting, punching out, fuzzy cutting, using our Cricut for anything like that. So I haven't participated in a couple of weeks because I've just been otherwise occupied. Come back up for Tea Tuesday tomorrow. And I'll talk a little bit more about that. But so I wanted to share this stamp with you right now. And um, I borrowed this from one of my friends, Sarah, my crafty friend, Sarah, that lives here in town. If you're watching this video, Sarah, thank you so much for letting me borrow this. And so there are some nice sentiments. My thoughts are with you. Um, your sweet friendship refreshes the soul. So sorry for your loss. Love and thanks to a dear friend. And so, um, but then there's also the dies that um, you can, once you stamp, you can die cut them out like that. So what I'm going to do, so there's three of them. So what I did was I took some white cardstock, cut it three inches because that's the whitest one that, that'll go there. So I will stamp some of these and then cut them out with this, just using my regular uh, Memento Black um, ink. And then I thought would be fun too was to stamp some on... Um, paper that's other than white to see what that looks like and so I pulled this out this Bloom Street by Pink Paisley Paige Evans paper and um, you've seen this before I'm sure um, I just think that there are some um, really fun foils in there some different spring colors possibly hearts and flowers of course so I think I'll use some of those to um, die cut some of those out too a stamp and die cut and see what that looks like Okay, die cutting done. Oh my gosh, guys, look at this. This is so great. I guess I didn't expect that, you know, these would just be die cut in the center there. And so um, I die cut a whole bunch of these really pretty big flowers. And then this is the medium size flower. And so um, these are just really fun too. And then here is the smaller um, flower here, the smallest one that I die cut here. So just cut out a whole bunch of those. And then I cut out this medium flower here on um, some pink paper. I don't know if you can tell it has some little white polka dots in there. So I think that was such a really good idea to stamp those on there. I wish I would have done some more of those, but I can always go back and do that. Um, I think this is the first time ever or at least in a while that I remember you know stamping on pattern paper I usually you know stamp on white or stamp on a solid color so I really do like that idea I think I'll do more of those and then also I was looking and I have this Hey Bunny um, Paper Roses paper collection, and it's black and white. So I'm thinking, what if I use maybe some of this with the black and white? Um, and I can, you know, I can watercolor these. I can use, you know, markers or, you know, pastels or any other kind of color to put some color on those or just keep them black and white and use them with a colored background um, as well. So anyway, that's what I have for today. Hashtag Let's Do Die Cutting Monday and definitely follow the hashtag to go and see all of the wonderful, wonderful um, other ideas and be inspired by what people are creating and sharing. Thanks for stopping by. I'll talk to you again soon. Bye-bye.